I'm Martha Stewart, and I'm watching Broadway.tv. I'm just really excited to see the play. I'm having a night out at the theater with my little brother. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing a show that I know nothing about. Yeah. All I know is that it's got amazing actors, and I'm looking forward to being entertained. I'm going to come see this play, God of Carnage, which was written by... Yasmina Reza, who is a really brilliant playwright. <laughs> oh, just uh, some good comedy. Yeah, we're very excited. We love Marsha Gay, love the show, so that great, exciting night in New York. I'm just, I heard it was a good show. I, saw, I know I have a lot of friends that saw it in previews, and so I'm just excited to see it because, you know, when you're fortunate enough to see live theater and it's good, oh, there's just nothing like it. Each of these actors is a virtuoso actor, so it's really fun when you see fine actors work as an ensemble. I have read about the show, but um, no, I was kind of a loner on the playground, so didn't get into too much trouble. Are Arguing? No, I don't argue. No, no, I just, I just hit. Okay, so don't, don't press me. Well, God of Carnage is what one of the characters says has ruled over the world for all eternity. He's trying to justify the fact that his son has smashed in the faces of the other couple's uh, smashed in the face of the other couple's son and broken two teeth. And he's saying, but you know, that's the way kids are and that's the way it goes. It's two sets of parents coming together to discuss uh, uh, an incident that's happened on the playground where my child has wounded another child. So I, I, I play um, the mother who's kind of seemingly in the wrong. It was such a great night. It was so beautiful. The audience was right with us every step of the way, and uh, it was everything we dreamed about. The backstage, the minutes before, you know, the rooms are full of flowers, and I do pottery, and I made everybody a special little, you know, pot or vase or something. It was great. And then we went out there, and it was just... They were with us. Went really well, really well. We've had the critics all week, and uh, opening was, uh, oh, the critics are done? They're all oh, good. Let's have some fun. Good. So we had a good time. It's a real joy to perform the show. We have a great time up there. The actors are all fantastic. It's like being in a baseball game, and everybody is, like, throwing the ball back and forth, and you never know who is. Like, that, that moment in practice when they're all like, blah, 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 that's what it feels like. You never know where the ball is coming, but you always know it's a perfect, perfect zinger. And we couldn't do it without each other, you know. It's a... Uh, it does feel on some level like a sport because um, we so depend on the voices of each other. And I have to say that while I always say, oh, the stage is an actor's medium and film is a director's medium and television is a writer's medium, I've never been in a place so brilliantly directed and that if it left to the actors alone, it would be a disaster, a disaster. People who know what they're doing and know how to do it and you like working with people like that. They make you better, they inspire you, they challenge you. Nobody was ever afraid to go all the way 100% from day one on, and so that's the kind of cast you want to be involved in, you know, because it's, um, everybody's good, so when they ask you to join it, you're going, how fast can I get there? I love and admire all three of them, and uh, we have a really, really fun time on stage together. The chemistry of the group is really fun. It's like riding a, a wave, or a series of waves, and, uh, and that, that's great fun for actors to uh, have a thousand people in a sold-out theater just, just rolling in the aisles, and then as soon as the laugh kind of comes over, you come in with the next one. It's, it's, it's great fun. It's great fun.